Hey guys, I'm Jaden Dupree, and today we are going to be running through some more mass egg shots that you will really find helpful in games. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to be showing you exactly where to hit. Thanks to the IQ, you can uh, find one of your own at iqclinic.com. Uh, so, whoops, there goes my cue. So for this first shot, let's just say our cue ball is close to the rail. Uh, we can just try to mass air through the gap. That's pretty difficult, uh, but it can be done as I just showed you with some bottom right. But let's just say that this is a tighter gap and you're not really comfortable like trying to shoot that gap. That gap is pretty hard to go through. So what we're going to do to make that gap easier to go through is we are going to hit the cue ball off of this rail with that same bottom right. We're going to hit it off the rail. It's going to go through the gap and curve after the gap. So for this you just have to aim pretty much anywhere into the rail and that right spin will take it through a gap like this. And this gap will show up in games. Uh, so let me show you on the IQ exactly where we're hitting. We're going to hit bottom right about at that, that diagonal line right here. And we're going to elevate the back of our cue a lot. This is going to require a good bit of elevation. That's about 40, 50 degrees. 40, 50 degrees of elevation in that bottom right line. And aim anywhere into the rail from like here to here. Uh, this shot will take some practice on your table. Also make sure you're chalked up and that you're following through, through the cue ball. Uh, and if you're using the IQ, make sure that the logo is like facing the direction you're shooting. And here is the shot. Okay, so the next shot is pretty similar to that. So now we're going to move these blockers up here. So we can't shoot straight through the nine, obviously. And we can try the two rail kick, but that is pretty difficult. Uh, what else is here? Let's just block our one rail kick. You can try to like mass a kick, which is pretty difficult. But what we're gonna show you is we're gonna hit the key ball into the rail, up around the blockers, over here to make the nine. Now we're going to have to hit bottom inside. So bottom left. So we're hitting about the other diagonal line, this left right here, with only about 30 degrees of elevation. It shouldn't, excuse me, shouldn't take too much elevation to hit it uh, to get the shot. And it should only go, you should be aiming for about where this chalk cube is right here. Uh, only do this if the blockers are like a ball away. If you curve too soon, you're hitting too soft and elevating too much. If you don't curve as much and you hit like right here, uh, you don't have enough elevation or you're hitting too hard and not allowing that spin to take. So that bottom left is going to spin the cue ball backwards and towards like the rail. Uh, so always make sure you're using that bottom inside English and here's the shot. Okay, so this next shot is actually a mass a kick shot like that last one. Uh, we're, let's just say we're like that, and let's say the blocker is a bit too high to mass a, like around these. We don't want to mass a around them. Uh, we, let's also say that this ball is blocking our one rail kick and our left hand spin kick, our Q tip runs into the one so that's not gonna work so what we have to do is we're gonna have to aim more towards that rail with bottom left since we want to go to the left and that'll curve the cue ball about here and it'll take it back towards that direction to pocket the nine this is going to be used a lot in your games uh, you'll usually see us around hitting 
these horizontal lines right here, these are gonna come up quite often. We're hitting that bottom left or bottom in whatever direction you want to curve the cue ball. Uh, I'll demonstrate for you. You don't need to elevate a lot on this at all. Only just about 20, 30 degrees. If you elevate too much, you curve too much. If you don't elevate enough, you're just flat. You just barely come back to this direction. Uh, if you hit too hard with the right amount of elevation, you still curve too much. Uh, and you, you curve too much before you hit that rail. So you definitely do not want to do that. And you also risk your tip going into that one ball. So you definitely do not want that. So that bottom left line or bottom whatever direction you want to curve and we're aiming for about up here by this third diamond. And here it is. Okay, so the next shot I'm going to show you is actually used for position. So let's say we're playing the one and we want to shoot the four next. So we're down here. Playing the one and we want to shoot the four after. So we're a little bit away from this one ball. So our only option for position is to try to kind of follow, spin it around, uh, which is heavy for a miscue as you just saw. So we could try to force it around, but we actually double hit right there. So that's not very good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mass a into this one ball with some back right spin again around this right horizontal line, the horizontal line that we are hitting uh, just with the direction that we're trying to get the cue ball to go. Since we want to go to the right, we don't want to be stuck like right here. Uh, if you use the left, the cue ball will kind of hug the rail and it'll come back here and probably scratch. Uh, that's a, like a trick shot called the rocket masse. But we're hitting where that B is, just a little bit uh, close to that horizontal line with pretty much 80, 90 degrees elevation. Uh, follow through all the way through the table so you don't hurt your table. Make sure you're chalked up. Uh, and that's about it. Just the hardest thing here is actually pocketing the one ball because it will be moving slower. If you don't pocket the one ball, you need to elevate less. So just remember that. Bottom right, and this ball will be going fast depending on how good you strike it. So you have a wide margin for error for, for this shot. Uh, so that's always good. And here it is. Okay, so the next masse shot we are going to do is a kind of reverse opposite spin masse. We are going to spin the cue ball into this rail with bottom right, cue ball will hit off that, come down here and pocket the one at the side. This is a good shot to know because if you hit the one ball anywhere on its right side, you will automatically scratch. So this is actually pretty useful. So we're just gonna elevate again, not too much, just, just about 10, 20 degrees with that bottom right horizontal line. And we should be good. Just aim anywhere. If you curve too fast, move your aiming point back. If you curve not enough, move it forward. Uh, and that is about it for this shot. It's pretty straightforward. This was played by Sean Murphy in uh, the World Snooker Finals against Ronnie O'Sullivan. And it was a great, great shot. Everyone loved it. And it's very, very useful. So definitely, definitely a good one to know. And here it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Uh, smash that like button. If you want to be notified when I post again, click the subscribe button and then, and then the bell icon right next to it. That will just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. 
Uh, thank you for 8,000 subscribers. We've grown 2,000 in this past week, which is absolutely insane. Uh, I've had to take down all my goals and put new ones back up pretty much every day. So thank you guys so much for helping me pass all those goals. And let's just see if we can hit 10,000 subscribers before October. Uh, that'd be absolutely crazy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you have any tutorial requests, leave them down below. As always, I will try to do as many as I can. Uh, I think I've done all of them by now. So just let me know what you want me to do and I'll be sure to do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope this video helped you become a better pool player.